Hey girl, it's Ryan Burrell and girl, in today's video, as you guys can see, we are going to be prepping my school supplies and I am very, very excited. This is actually my second year making this video. My first one was last year, which I'll link down below if you guys want to watch it. I was very, very surprised that you guys actually liked it because when I made a video, I was like, okay, people probably aren't going to watch this because I don't think anyone is as crazy as I am when it comes to stationery, but little did I know you guys are that's when I knew that I had found my people today we are gonna be labeling we're gonna be organizing actually we're mainly gonna be labeling today and I'm just very excited so let me just give you a little tour of what we have here a little stationary mukbang so here we have my labels and my sticker paper so I'm gonna talk about this more later because I know that you guys are very curious as to how I make my labels I still I'll get so many DMs about them today, so don't worry, we're gonna talk about them. Over here, we have all my tools. So we have all my cutting tools, my scissors, my two cutters, my gluey tape, my sticky tape, my ruler, my trusty ruler. Over here, we have some Muji pens I'm gonna be labeling. <gasps> I'm so excited about these, you guys. I have two packs of Expo dry erase markers. Expo is actually my favorite marker brand, but I haven't used it in a while because I don't think they sell it here. It's a US brand. I was just so happy that I found these on Shopee. Like, girl, I'll link it down below. Don't worry, I got you. Each pack was around 350 pesos, so I'm very excited about this. Ooh, I feel like I'm getting way too excited over markers. We have the five ultra fine tip markers. Oh, by the way, guys, there is construction going on in my house. We're renovating our dirty kitchen. So if you hear loud noise, people talking, um, dogs barking because my dogs don't like them or like drilling or hammering, that's why. I'm really sorry. Ooh, look at how pretty. I'm very excited. It is a low odor marker. Let's do a smell test. I think they're on the same smell. That was a fail smell test. Okay, and then over here we have my binder and my paper. We're gonna set that up later. We have this notepad from Muji. We have a bunch of Muji notebooks that I'm actually relabeling. Then we have a bunch of like post-it stickers. I just put it there in case I decide to be creative and extra last minute. And by the way, speaking of extra, um, my earrings are very extra right now because I just took an Instagram photo, which is why they're too extra for this video. Over here we have even more Muji pens and we have some calligraphy pens, some markers, whiteboard markers and this gluey tape and that is it before i begin i do have an ongoing back to school giveaway so if you guys want to check that out and join i'll have it linked down below for you guys or just click this card over here and of course if you have not yet subscribed to this channel i would love to have you be a part of our little family and girl we hit 50,000 subscribers yesterday and i am so happy and so thankful and you guys have no idea how much your support means to me and anyways if you guys want to be a part of our 50,000 subscribers subscriber family make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and the little notification bell next to it who get notified every single time i post a video wednesday and saturday 2 p.m okay so we're gonna start with of course cutting the labels i got so 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 many questions about how i make my labels so i actually did a little um screen recording time lapse on how i made them on photoshop so i will play that quick time lapse right now And I did change my labels up from last year. Here's a close-up of the labels. This is what my labels looked like last year, and this is what they look like this year. So it's not like a huge difference, but it definitely is different. To make multiple copies, I just copied and pasted it into Google Docs, and then I resized it on Google Docs as well. So I made like big ones, medium ones, and then small ones for the different things I'm gonna be labeling. The sticker paper that I used, this is actually the first time I'm using this 
this brand. It's the Asia Sticker Paper in Satin. I normally use the Best Buy sticker paper, which is this one, but it wasn't available that time I went to National Bookstore. And this Best Buy one is actually matte. I don't recommend matte sticker paper because for example, if it's matte and it rubs against something, there's more friction. So there's a greater chance that it'll like tear up. So I definitely recommend either satin or gloss. And a lot of people actually message me like, I love mine to be satin or glossy, but the thing is the ink smudges. And that happens to my printer too. The key is you just let it sit out for a few minutes, maybe like 10, 15, 20. I guarantee you it won't smudge after that. For example, there's actually an area in this, the first copy that smudged because it actually slipped from the computer and fell. And when I picked it up, I accidentally smudged it. But look here, when I rub it, it doesn't smudge anymore because it's all dry. Sorry about my nail, by the way. Let's start with cutting these up. I suggest too, if you're making labels, if you're making like a bunch, get a little container to put it in so that it remains in pristine condition. I suggest that you cut your labels using a cutter because it's way more accurate, more neat than using scissors. Or if you have like the paper slicer or the the guillotine, the paper guillotine, that would be ideal, but I don't have that. So we're gonna do it manually. By the way, guys, when does your school start? I asked a lot of you guys before on Instagram stories, and a lot of you said that your school start on August. When in August? So like the first week, second week. My brother started his school a week ago, a week ago, July. His school obviously is fully online for the first semester at least. So when does yours start? Mine starts the 27th of August, which is quite far. I mean, it's around almost a month from now and it's fully online, obviously. Ooh, this one didn't, wait. I'm actually very nervous about the whole online school situation because I have a few friends who actually took intercession, no, are taking intercession, which are summer classes, and they have a lot of complaints. Actually, everyone, like, if you go to, like, add new freedom wall, like, everyone, literally everyone is complaining about how bad intercession is and how it's just not working, like, the whole online class scenario. And I don't know if it's because of online class in general or because Ateneo isn't super prepared yet because I've been hearing a lot of complaints about certain professors and their pace so hopefully that's something that they fix for the first semester honestly i have no idea how i am gonna survive online classes because i can't even finish one Coursera course. I overestimated my focus and discipline and ability to do online class. When I set a goal for myself to take at least five Coursera classes over the quarantine and over summer, and it's been months, like three months, four months, and I haven't even finished one class. If I can't even do that, then how am I gonna survive online classes? You know what I mean? So I am very, very nervous about that. <laughs> We have our first cut label. Now I'm just gonna do a little time lapse because I don't think you guys wanna watch me do this for around like an hour, so time lapse. Now I'm gonna try using scissors because I feel like it'll be fine to use scissors. Like I don't think I'm gonna mess up or cut it wrong. So let's try scissors. Okay, it's a little while later, but we're done. We've cut up everything and now I'm just going to separate them, organize them into their different sizes and also get rid of all the, the trash because it's all, all mixed up in here. Now that we have all of our labels separated into the different sizes, I only cut up one sheet of the printed labels, by the way, because um, I got too tired. Hopefully this will be enough. So we're gonna start labeling. I think we'll start with a pen. Actually, we'll start with the markers. So, oh. 
Okay, we're gonna start with the whiteboard markers. So when it comes to labeling pens or any writing utensil, if you can't slip it inside, put the label in the part of the pen that you know you're not gonna be touching, that you know your hands aren't gonna rub against. If you put it in a part that you're always holding, for example here, then obviously because of the friction, the label will tear. We're gonna do the very end. I'm gonna put them over here and we're gonna use the smallest label. So we're gonna peel it there and then put it at the very, very edge. And there! It's super cute! Okay, we're all done labeling these bigger markers. I will have to say though, I am not super happy with the sticker paper because as you can see over here, the edges are lifting a tiny bit. So I suggest that instead of the Asia sticker paper, instead of this one, I suggest get the Best Buy one because this one is way stickier. It sticks better than this. So this one, I might end up just putting tape around it to ensure that it doesn't open or I might print new labels using the Best Buy one but if you do want to take extra precaution to waterproof it then just put some clear tape around it for now we're done with all of the markers there you go now I'm gonna label these thin ones and same principle um, I'm gonna put it at the very edge so let's do this Okay, we are done. I also want to label these, so the cleaner and the eraser, but I don't know if this is gonna stick on styrofoam, so we're gonna have to see. I think I want this big label. <laughs> I mean, it's stuck, so I, I feel like we'll, we'll keep it there. We're gonna also use the big one because I'm scared that we're running out of the small ones and we still have um, other pens to label. Now we're gonna move on and label these pens. So let's do another time lapse. Now we're moving on to the Muji pens. So for Muji pens, I like to actually open them up and then put the label inside just so that it's protected, you know? Just open the pen and then actually label the inside there, as you can see, and then you simply put it back. Okay, finally we are done with all the labeling, so let me just take out all the trash. Now actually, I'm just gonna be setting up my binder really quick. I decided that I'm not really gonna decorate it yet because I am missing a lot of the binder accessories like the, the binder dividers, the binder index, and the clear pockets. So right now I'm literally just going to put some paper in it. So whenever I fill in my binder, I don't like to put a ton of paper just so that it's not that bulky. So this is all we're gonna put in for now and then we're gonna refill it once we need more. Okay, there you go. And I don't know if I wanna take this out. I normally take the sticker out, but I feel like now I kinda wanna keep it. Anyways, um, the last thing I'm gonna do actually is label this little notepad. And that's really it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I don't know if it was interesting or not. It was literally just me labeling. But thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you this Saturday, 2 p.m. Bye, girl.